Hi friends, welcome to my new video on energy flow in an electrical network. By the end of this video, you will be able to answer the following questions. What happens to the energy when flowing from source to load in an electrical network? Which is a component that accounts for loss of energy when flowing from the source to the load? Which electrical component stores energy in kinetic form? Which electrical component stores energy in the potential form? Which electrical component stores energy in its magnetic field and which electrical component stores energy in its electrical field. So energy flow. Basically energy flows from the source to the load. By the flow of energy I mean the flow of current from the source to the load. And many things may happen to energy during its passage from the source to the load. The first thing that may happen to the energy is that it may get loose. That is it becomes unavailable to the load. That is some part of energy is load, lost during its passage from the source to the load. And secondly, it can get stored in some form like potential energy or as kinetic energy. And this energy can later be recovered and either be sent to the load or back to the source. And finally, it will get transformed. That is it may get transformed from electrical to electrical of some other levels or it may even get transformed to mechanical chemical heat etc other forms of energy and the energy that is lost is happening in the component called the resistor and in a resistor energy is mainly lost in the form of heat now coming to the form where it is getting stored as a potential energy or as potential form it is getting stored in an element called the capacitor and as kinetic energy it is getting stored in the component called the inductor and in a capacitor it is getting stored in its electric field and in an inductor it is getting stored in the magnetic field and these three components that is a resistor, inductor and capacitor are called the basic electrical or electronic components that is these three things makes the basic structures of an electrical or electronic circuit and finally coming to the form where it is getting transformed this may happen in a transformer that is in a transformer energy is getting transformed from one level to another level say from a high voltage level to a low voltage level or from a low voltage level to a high voltage level or it may even get transformed to mechanical that is by means of some motors present in the system and so and so. If you like this video, do subscribe.